Your knee joint, despite taking all the hammering during your exercise, remains your faithful friend. So what can we do to make its life easier? Advancement in technology has changed the face of healthcare. Anything invented decades back has given way to something newer and more cutting edge. Or are there still any survivors? One of the most important links in the chain of human movement is the knee joint. So let's take a closer look at this amazing body mechanism and find out how to keep it safe and strong. The knee joint is the articulation between the femur bone of our thigh and the tibia bone of our shin. But what makes this more than a simple hinge joint is the presence of the kneecap, a sesamoid bone called the patella, which develops in the tendons of the extensors of the knee the massive quadriceps and adds stability to the joint. In total, there are 11 ligaments that form the joint and many muscles overlap and weave together to give it its movement function. The joint capsule stays lubricated with synovial fluid and this keeps the movement friction-free. The knee basically has extension and flexion movements, but a small amount of rotation also takes place. Because of its position and function, the knee plays an extremely important role, especially in all your lower body movements. But the very structure of this joint makes it both flexible and very vulnerable. As a major joint of the lower body, the knee joint supports the entire body weight when standing or while moving, together with the anti-gravity muscles of the calves and the thighs that surround it. And so there's a lot of wear and tear in this joint, because it's used so much, overuse can leave the knee ligaments damaged. And since the ligaments don't have good blood supply, the healing takes long. The articulating surfaces of the bones are covered by cartilage, which wear out with time. And overuse, as in the case of footballers, which can also leave it damaged. And then there are all the powerful lower limb muscles that insert or begin from the knee. And the health of the knee depends on the health and the correct tonality of all these muscles. Now with so many elements interacting in such a small space, even if one was to go awry, the knee would feel the pressure and begin to complain. So what are these exercises that can help keep your knee safe and strong? Regularly doing leg extension exercises for strengthening your quadriceps helps to strengthen the extensors of the knee, the muscles that allow you to pull your knee into a straightened position from a bent one. Static quads are a great way to isolate and target the quadricep group of your thigh. The hamstrings must also be strengthened simultaneously and leg curls are a great way to target the back of your thighs, the flexors of the knee that contract to bend the knee. Swiss ball curls give you a greater balance challenge and allow your knee to find stability as well as strength. All complex lower body exercises like squats, deadlifts, and lunges involve the knee joint along with the hip and ankle joint and help to reinforce the core and the muscles that act at all these joints. Step climbing also enhances the strength in the thighs and ensures that the knee gets stronger literally with every step. The vulnerable nature of this joint has made it a victim of many popular exercise myths. Many people believe that running is extremely harmful for the knees and are afraid to take it up for fear of developing painful and injured knees. But the truth is that running, or for that matter any form of weight-bearing exercise, would cause injury only if the exerciser does not pay attention to simultaneously strengthening the muscles that act on the joint. When these muscles are weak, the integrity of the knee joint, of course, can get compromised. Another very popular exercise myth is that bending your knee more than 90 degrees in a squat or allowing the knee to cross the line of your toes would cause the knee joint to slide forward and to start hurting. But look eastwards and you would find that everyone in this country sits in a full squat 
quite easily and without any apparent injury. Again, it's a question of strengthening the muscles that act at the knee, which help keep the knee structure safely intact through this full range and loaded flexion of the knee. So take good care of your knees. After all, you only have one on each leg and you need them.